I wouldn't say that I wanted to be on camera, um, but I was always really comfortable in front of the camera. You know, when I attended LSU, Coach Saban made us take specific classes on sound bites and, you know, uh, TV uh, etiquette and how to answer questions, how to look when you're answering questions. Uh, being thrusted into that, uh, and I was the only r uh, freshman to ever be allowed to speak to the media in Coach Saban's tenure. So because I was from Baton Rouge, Louisiana and had a great freshman year at LSU, he allowed me to uh, speak to the media and I didn't want to mess that up. That was a privilege. So I, I would say that I, I gained a lot of um, knowledge about how to conduct yourself at a young age, how to do it the right way to Coach Saban's standard, and it's helped me uh, in, in television. I met Michael um, at a, I, my film was being shown at a very small film festival that was held at a school and Michael was talking to the children that were there. They were just transfixed, and he was really giving it his all in his communication with them. And I got his number, and I called him later, and he wanted to do his own lifestyle talk show, which is where the Michael Clayton Live show came from. It's basically, it's really a reflection of his personal values. You know, we really wanted it to be something that reflected him. So it's about community, it's about family, it's about connection has a little bit of sports, has a little bit of entertainment. I'm back. It's a dream come true. Uh, I had a tremendous job working uh, for Channel 10, uh, hosting a morning show. I learned a lot. I learned how to um, speak to edit. I learned how to um, communicate, make people feel comfortable in front of the camera, uh, how to treat people when they come in to make them, you know, just really know your energy and, uh, and kind of be one with you on set. So I learned all of those things uh, at my previous job and I wanted to start this show because it kind of took the restraints off. We, we, we do what we feel is right. Uh, and necessary. There's nothing that we can't talk about. So I like those uh, types of, uh, you know, there's, a, there's no restrictions of what we can do. So this, this project has been uh, at the forefront of my dream. We um, started working on Michael Clayton Live in November and we were about to shoot. We were about fully ready to go into production in March. Around the week of March 16th, Mar March 23rd, and that was when the lockdown happened. So literally shut us down right as we were about to shoot. So we had to scrap all of our ideas about how we were gonna shoot the show and completely rewrite it from the ground up. So we developed a new studio that allowed us to be COVID compliant, which is nobody else uses the studio except for us. We have a completely different way of shooting the show than we did previously. So we have very limited crew. They're all amazing and very passionate really committed to our show. That was a, a, a big challenge, but we, uh, I had the, the right people around me. Uh, Becky, um, Yata did a tremendous job uh, gathering a team of devoted people who could weather this storm. We found a warehouse, we built a set, uh, we reworked the foundation of the show where we did uh, professionally look in Zoom interviews and the sound was tremendous. Uh, Tammy Roebuck came on board and uh, does an amazing job in editing uh, and really gave it that, that life. That's what's made our company really successful. That's why we're able to do the Michael Clayton Live Show in the middle of a pandemic because we have great people that help us out and work together. Wow, well, uh, a team of one, two, three, four, five, six, a team of seven, okay, that's the number of completion, I like that, team of seven, and a lot of uh, business support, you know, the sponsors who believe in you, who like your product, who like what they see while your product is on, you know, that's the lifeline of television, people who want to advertise and want to get the word out about their respective businesses. And we provide a platform where people are gonna tune in to, to watch fun things, to laugh, to talk about sports, to talk about community members uh, that, and topics that can push the city forward. So uh, we're excited about that. We're excited about our partners that we've partnered with and look forward uh, to, to gaining more, gaining more traffic as we uh, stay on the airways.